Hi everyone, Nigel Saunders here. It is going to be a busy day today. I'm meeting the Kitchener-Waterloo Bonsai Society and we're going on a Yamadori or a collection trip to search for trees. It's a 400 acre property we're heading to so it'll be uh, quite a day. After that in the afternoon I'm heading off to the to Hamilton for the Chinese Elm workshop tonight so that's going to be exciting too. It poured rain last night so all my trees on the benches are fully watered. I watered the ones in the greenhouses so I'm ready to go. It is an absolutely beautiful day today, not too hot, not too cold and sunny so off I go. I have arrived at the collection site. Looks like everyone's there already. So we're heading up to the lodge down here. There's Blue Jay Bonsai. All kinds of people here. Do we, uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we'll get back there and we'll see if the, um, if we're looking at pine, if the, if the needles have not uh, released from the sheath and aren't fully okay. out, yeah. uh, those are still an option. Mm. Um, some of the stuff are, are closer to the lake and, and younger stuff, if you can get the majority of the root ball, like we pulled some some young, uh, large Little seedlings, stuff, yeah. but you just have to get most of okay. it. So. so if it's really young, it's probably going to be okay. But. So we're heading out now. Right there. So uh, this is what a large looks like if it no knows. There's the lake. Beautiful. Look at all the water lilies. Is there not a connection there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> win win. <laughs> uh, yeah. Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, it's like rainbow fungi. That's Bruce. Here's a cool root on this cedar here. Check that out. This is a cedar that's tipped over here. Twin trunk. Wow. A uh, big, big tree. Deep in the woods here. Crossing the little stream. At the KW place was great because it wasn't a big cathedral. Yeah, that was really good. This is a birch tree, paperbark birch, very, very old, buttressed roots, wow, and there's a thuja growing over top of the root base there, amazing, that is an old tree. Here's what Mark has gotten. Look at that. 
Yeah. Oh, there's a good one. Look at that one. Yeah. That's good. Okay, guys, we can go home. We got a tree. Here's a cool root base on this Thuja. Kind of a hollow section there. We've come across some, we think, giant anthills, possibly. They're just huge. Look at the size of it. All fine soil, freshly dug out. Beautiful black soil. Oh, Look at it. Yeah, there's the ants. Yeah. Yeah, see the ants there? <laughs> wow. My fault, should have been paying attention. Might be uh, biting you soon. That is the biggest ant hill I've ever seen in my life. Looks like something you'd find in Africa. Here's a native white pine, a rather large one, and look at the bark. bark on it. Yeah. I have never seen a white pine with this kind of bark. That is fantastic. And the pan, pan up to the, they, they ramify like almost naturally. Oh yeah. Perfectly. Wow, look at the size of the trunk on it. Uh, a double, a double trunk. <laughs> Hong's by the beehives here. He oh, says, it's the king bee. <laughs> I'm going to try and get a, a shot of the of the bees. Oh, the hives? Without uh, alarming them. They look very busy. That's as close as I'm getting. I don't want to disturb them. This is one of the really good sites for collecting. You can see there's larch in here, all kinds of thuja, and they're very scrubby and old. And, you know, here's another larch here. Yeah, so it's fantastic. So you guys are digging up a larch here. Nice. Jeez, and Vince, on. what did you get, Vince? Gotcha. Oh, isn't that a nice? Oh, it's beautiful. They're all twisty and nice looking. Nice. Yeah, I think so. James has found himself a larch. Wow, that's got some style to it, doesn't it, James? Yeah, it looks very nice. Very cool. Oh, hell. Yeah. I'm not using it. I'll just run that back in my jeep now. And... Oh, okay, Dave. Okay. Well, I don't think <laughs> come out of the driveway <laughs> where our cars went parked. Thank you. Yeah. Connor has found some cool flowers, columbines. Really nice. So Matthew has found a really good cedar here. I'll try and show you the trunk on it. Here it is here. So it's an old cedar. <coughs> the top's been cut and then it's regrown from the base. Really nice. There it goes, it's out. So yeah, all, it's all clay soil. And this clay is almost like pottery clay. It's really fine. Uh, heavy. <laughs> really, yes. really heavy. Oh my goodness. There it goes. Hanging on. And I, but one thing about the clay is I find they have fairly compact root systems because they, there's moisture around the tree. They're not long searching for it in dry soil. Cost me my shovel. Yeah, that's too bad. Well, the price we pay. You'll have to get treat yourself to a new shovel. Yes. Try and find a good one. And yes. Oh, even a straggler. That's a nice one too. Yeah, these collected trees, they have a certain character to them, don't they? That mm -hmm. it's just hard to get from a nursery. No. How much is this do I want to take off? And you just can't get the mosquitoes like this at a nursery <coughs> either. It's like a 
an added bonus, isn't it? Getting bitten. Gift from Mother Nature. Exactly, yeah. It's like getting kisses on you, Humidity. your skin all day long. Humidity and mosquitoes. What more can you ask for? <laughs> yeah. Right. That's the first thing I thought when it rained last night is I thought, oh my goodness, there's going to be tons of mosquitoes here. Try to leave it the way we found it. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, well, I think I made it this far without getting something, so... <laughs> <laughs> so it's a successful trip then, is it, Connor? Yeah, my girlfriend would be proud. <laughs> I think I did not ruin it. So that is it for the collection trip for this spring. I didn't get any trees because I don't need any trees. I just came along for the walk through the woods and to catch up on what people were doing. So I'm gonna head home now, and then I'm off to Hamilton tonight for the Chinese Elm Workshop. I have arrived at Tropical Expressions to do the Chinese Elm Workshop. I'm also going to check in on the tiger bark ficus that'll be used for the next workshop. So let's go have a look at them. So here is the tiger bark ficus, and these are really, really nice there all kind of upright trunks for that kind of banyan style. They look nice and healthy. Yeah, they're looking really good. Yeah, so these are really, really good pre-bonsai material. That's a nice one too. Yeah, they're just fantastic. All right, welcome everyone. And thanks to Mark and Madeline from Tropical Expressions for hosting this workshop. It's fantastic that they uh, approached me to do this. I, uh, I really enjoy having workshops or putting them on. Let's, uh, I'll introduce myself. I'm Nigel Saunders. I, uh, I started, <clears throat> got into bonsai 30 years ago. And Hello, and what's your name? Oh, my name is Brad. And uh, how did you get into bonsai, Brad? Uh, it was about a year ago. I was just looking into trees from my backyard and then oh, yeah. Started finding, kind of same as you, started finding mini versions of the trees I was looking at, and I, I just love miniature stuff, so. Me too. Kind of went down the rabbit hole and. Did you ever build models or anything? Or? Oh yeah. Yeah, okay, yeah. me too. I was always into models and miniatures, and I just yeah, love little, anything. Little sets of everything, so. Okay. So, so. I just added, just added trees to the mix and. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and it's, it's like a model that's never finished. Like, that's one thing I didn't like about model building is, you build a plastic model, paint it all up, and then it sits on a shelf and gathers dust. Whereas your tree just, it's like you keep working on it and it gets better and better. It's like a, I don't know, it's, I find it really cool. All right, thanks, Red. And what's your name? Hi, I'm Eugene. And yeah, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, gone to Bonsai, I honestly just uh, stumbled across your store a couple okay. of years ago, started yep. accumulating kind of plant after plant. And oh, yeah. Then, uh, yeah, I've heard about the workshop. And, and you love uh, the miniature trees too, eh? Yeah, yeah, I got enough of them at home, so we decided to uh, try the class out. Oh, good. Well, welcome, sure. welcome. What you did? I'm Victoria. Victoria. Um, I'm his wife. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, literally just here because he likes bonsai trees. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's great having couples here because I, I think it's, it's fantastic. <laughs> You might as well double I mean, up. We have eh? them at home, so now at least I get to know more about them, so that's kind of cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, <laughs> welcome. Hi there. I'm Logan. Logan? This is Olivia. Like Olivia? Hello. And Olivia and Tor are sisters, sisters actually. Yeah. Really? Yeah. So yeah. Wow. Huge and I both really enjoy plants, and kind of part yeah. of our friendship is talking about plants and <laughs> well, making plants. Cool. So, yeah, yeah. We've been to the store many times. We have a bunch of few bonsais at home. Yeah. Juniper. My brother's tea. girlfriend got me a juniper mm -hmm. from here three years ago or two years okay. ago. So are you all from Hamilton so far? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, 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 you're from, Fergus. yeah, okay, yeah. Fergus. Yeah. And then you know how it is, you're propagating all of a sudden. I know. Yeah. Using Greek yogurt containers for pots. And <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's Well, it. that's awesome, welcome. Thank you. <laughs> and over here we have? Hey, I'm Norm. Hi. Norm? I'm Naomi. Naomi, uh, welcome. Thank you. Uh, I don't think that we're like into bonsai. Okay, <laughs> this is something new, this. a new yeah, venture. Never yeah. worked on a plant before. Oh, well, I'm exciting. Uh, but like, uh, we bought a house last year, and then I was trying to learn about why well, I had these plants and trees. I need to learn yep. how to prune. And then Snowflake becomes Blizzard. Yep. I stumble across your channel a few weeks ago. Oh, cool. And then it's like, oh, let's. Uh, Let's see what this is about. It is, it's a pretty cool thing to do, Very I think. <laughs> I've been sort of obsessively watching just bonsai videos on YouTube for like the last like month. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, but, there's yeah, a lot of good videos time. on YouTube. Yes. Yeah. Awesome. And I know Aaron down here. 
Aaron Leslie, hey. how's it going? You probably know Aaron from YouTube comments. And oh, I'm all over the place. He's yeah. all over the place. Yeah, I'm on Jay's, Excited's, yours. And then a few guys from, I think, uh, from Japan or China, I can't remember. Okay, yeah. yeah, they give me advice too. So what got you into bonsai, Aaron? Uh, well, it started with um, actually carnivorous plants. Like oh, the ones yeah, yeah. that eat, and I thought, you know, because they're really pretty and they're hard to do. Yeah. Uh, but then my girlfriend, she doesn't like them. Because okay. they also have a tendency to be poisonous. So yeah. um, she got me a tree from here, and then it kind of just... I didn't even know what bonsai was. I, I had an idea. I thought it was like just simple junipers. Junipers, that's what and, most people and, think. Uh, as soon as I, can, I learned that you can do any tree, yeah. I went outside and I picked maybe 10 saplings out of my yard. Oh, I was cool. like, screw it, I'm going to do it. Oh, that's so now awesome. I have, now I have, uh, I still think it's a small collection, but I have well over 60 trees. Oh, wow. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't call that small. <laughs> <laughs> I still call it small because it all fits on one, maybe two tables. Okay. So, so you have small trees. I have small trees, yeah. But a large yeah. collection of small trees. I always say trees. the smaller it is, the cooler it is. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, welcome, Aaron. Thank That's you. nice to finally it's meet nice you. nice to finally meet you, too, yeah. The Chinese elm is native to China, Korea, and Japan. It is small to medium-sized, deciduous, rarely evergreen tree, growing to 10 to 18 meters tall, or 30 to 60 feet. Chinese elm lumber is used most for furniture, cabinets, veneer, hardwood flooring, and specialty uses such as longbow construction and tool handles. So. Uh, good nice for bonsai growers. Chinese elm has good resistance to the Japanese beetle. Resistance to the Japanese beetle and Dutch elm disease, a fungal disease spread by bark beetles that fatally affects many elm tree species. If planted in preferred conditions and given proper care, a Chinese elm can live anywhere from 50 to 150 years. Placement. A Chinese elm thrives in either full sun or partial shade. In temperate climates, it can be left outdoors even during winter months. If you have an indoor Chinese elm bonsai, you can place it outside during the summer, but it's best to bring it into a cool but frost-free room in the winter. So we generally call these temperate trees where they need a rest period in the winter, but not below freezing. So I would treat it as a tropical tree. They can take light frost, but I would keep it above freezing if possible. Repotting Chinese elms. Chinese elms should be repotted every two years when they are young. As they grow older and larger, they can repot it in longer intervals. No matter what the age, the best time to repot is during the spring. <clears throat> so you want to do it just before that new growth becomes active. You'll see all the buds swelling on the tree in spring, and that's the time to repot them. Uh, pruning Chinese elms. The Chinese elms thickens rather quickly and requires frequent trimming in order to bruise the dense network of fine branches. Allow the shoots to extend three to four nodes. So. A node is a set of leaves. So there's one node, two nodes, three nodes, four nodes. So you wouldn't want it to grow about that length. And then you prune it back to the first two leaves. Chinese elm care. The Chinese elm cannot endure prolonged drought or constant moisture. Wait until the topsoil is dry and then water generously, making sure the entire root mass is watered. Making sure to provide plenty of fertilizer to nourish your Chinese elm during the growing season. Principles of pruning. So there's two kinds of pruning in bonsai. There's light pruning and hard pruning. A light pruning would be like trimming this new growth back to the first set of leaves. That, that would be considered light pruning. Hard pruning would be, let's say on this tree, I wanted to shorten the tree, taking the whole top off and growing it as that. That would be considered a hard prune. Whenever you hard prune into old wood, you'll find you'll get new shoots growing all over the old wood. Um, styling your Chinese elm, uh, they're, they're a very versatile tree. You can basically style them in any form you want. You can have like a forest, you can have a broom style where you have a, a canopy. You can style them like kind of cascading branches, uh, multi trunks. Uh, they grow really well from cuttings if you, if you Snip the top off here and put it in water, a glass of water. In the summer, it'll root and then you can plant it. So if you want to create a forest, you just keep putting cuttings in pots and they'll grow and then you'll have enough for a forest eventually. Um, any style. Uh, so there's some more examples of Chinese elms. Now I should explain, there's two types of Chinese elms. Uh, these are your I don't know what you call them, the normal Chinese elms. They call it a lace bark elm. 
and mature bark on them gets, it peels. It almost looks like camouflage. It gets little plates that come off. So you kind of get this orangey, orangey tan color to them. There's another kind of Chinese elm that's called a cork bark Chinese elm, and they get a thick, rugged kind of cork bark bark on them. Uh, I, I, these aren't those cork bark elms, but there is that species, which is another Chinese elm. Well, that's looking good. You got a nice, fine, fibrous root system. That's mm -hmm. really good. Yeah. That's awesome. Let's check out this root system. Oh, you're working away at it. So always rake kind of in a radial pattern if you can. And don't be timid that you won't damage the roots too easily. You can get right in there and untangle them. And that's awesome. Let's check this out. Eh? Oh yeah, that's coming along. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like they all have really good root systems. Nice fine fibrous roots. That's awesome. Oh, this one's almost bare rooted right now. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's awesome. So well, we actually, won't. That's, that's what we chose. That's the front. I don't know why I chose. Right. Um. Yeah. No. Over here. Yeah. 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 That was the front. Would you keep this? Or I would keep it for now. Yeah. That's and then fair, eventually right? remove it. Yeah. It'll be too big at the end of it. Yeah. If if you removed it now, you probably you're starting to risk the health of the tree. So I would keep it for now, and then in the future, when you've got a huge root system, then remove it. Right. Yeah, cool. do it in stages. Cool, cool, cool. How is this root system coming along? Uh, it's pretty, we chose it. Wow, <laughs> I think you've got the uh, most- you got this like chicken claw kind of- Interesting, bizarre this root system. Oh, this is huge hole in the middle. Okay, so a root system like this, uh, you've got to do attack kind of one root per repotting. So okay. with this repotting, we'll remove one root. And then the next time you repot it, you'll remove the next worst root. And then eventually you'll get this fantastic root system. Now this, is, it, this isn't bad. It's, <laughs> if you put a rock under there, it would be really nice. If you found a rock that fit in there, mm -hmm. that might be the solution for that yeah. root system. Yeah, I, that's what I would do actually. <laughs> Yeah. Find the perfect rock that fits in there. Wow. <laughs> what a root system. So here it is. That bizarre root system is fitted perfectly to a rock that Mark found. That is just awesome. Look at that. Fits, right? Wow. Turn it around. If life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. <laughs> That's beautiful. Wow. That That's awesome. Amazing. Let's check in on the progress of all the trees. So there's the root over rock getting potted up. <laughs> That's so cool. Now you got to have one of those Chinese mud men there. I was yeah. Say. A musician <laughs> or an artist or something That's like right. that. Yep. Aaron's tree over here. Wow, look at that. You got a little forest going. Oh, that looks awesome. Really, really nice. Nice. Over here. So the tree wired in okay? Yeah, it feels nice and strong. Oh, that's good. Yeah. good. Wonderful. Look at that. And over here, we're watering. Oh, that's cool. That looks great. And here, oh, look at this. Beautiful, just beautiful. <laughs> I'm Brad and this is my tree. Nice. I'm Eugene, this is Victoria, and this is our tree. This is Logan and Olivia, this is our tree. Hey, I'm Norman. This is Naomi, and this is our tree. Hi, I'm Aaron, and this is my tree. 
Here is the group for the Chinese Elm Workshop. A wonderful bunch of people and a wonderful bunch of trees. So here we are, we're gonna have a look at them all. Wow. Very Chinese style with the zigzags and that, that's cool. And this one's very smooth bends. Really nice and a nice canopy on top. That looks awesome. This one's kind of a, what would you call that? A reclining style or semi-cascade? Maybe. Maybe. Very we'll cool. I hope the cuttings do well too. Thank you. And this one's a smooth kind of curvy tree. Looks really nice. Nice branch placement on that tree. Yeah, really cool. And then here's our root over rock. Wow. Look at that. Amazing. You guys amazed me tonight. You did a wonderful job. Yeah, I can see you well. I'm back at home now. It's the next day. I never did get a chance to work on my Chinese elm at the workshop. It was just a fun and busy workshop. The next workshop will be tiger bark ficus in the banyan style. So the ones I've picked out have a fairly straight trunk and a broom style canopy. They're really nice trees. I'm looking forward to that workshop. If you want to sign up for the workshop, I'll put a link in the description below and you can just email Madeline at Tropical Expressions. I had a really fun day yesterday, a full day of bonsai, the collection trip in the morning and the workshop at night. It was awesome. That's all for today. I'm Nigel Saunders. Thanks for joining me in the Bonsai Zone. <music>